Happy Friday, and once again, welcome to the Weekender, friends and family. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Wow, we have a three-day weekend. Uh, a lot of people are back to work, uh, so I think it's a really good opportunity to enjoy this uh, weekend, uh, do a little barbecuing uh, in honor of the holiday. Uh, so let's get started with the Weekender here. Uh, this weekend... Um, Believe it or not, Yoshi's, uh, a jazz supper club uh, down, down, downtown, uh, sitting there in Jack London Square has kind of opened back up. Uh, it is a supper club of live music, uh, sushi. I can't believe years ago, I didn't really care for sushi. Matter of fact, I don't even know if I've had sushi at Yoshi's just yet, but I looked at the menu last night. I looked at the lineup. Can't wait to get into Yoshi's. They do have some good artists I want to take a look at uh, now that things are starting to open up. Speaking of opening up, man, have you seen those crowds at the NBA playoffs? I mean, New York, the Knicks. Um, I mean, they've just opened up some of these uh, stadiums. Uh, I guess we're going to be at full effect pretty soon here in a couple weeks. Uh, it's wonderful to kind of get out. We got to go see the Padres down in San Diego last weekend. That was a blast seeing Tatis just do his thing. Um, NBA playoffs, I mean, it's going big time this weekend. I mean, I think we got games all day, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, A's, they keep winning. They're in first place. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at as far as entertainment. And pretty soon I'll be reporting on, you know, local concerts and so forth. So let's just get into this weekend's topic um, this weekend's topic is something that I don't know if we talk about that often, but it's something that's required with every real estate purchase. Um, that is homeowner's insurance. And so this week's topic is uh, what does homeowner's insurance really cover? Uh, we're going to go over the basics of what's covered in most policies. And then uh, we'll talk about a few things that aren't covered uh, that you can pay a little bit extra. So typically when you buy a house, you have to have home ownership insurance. Um, there are a lot of places I recommend, but um, besides Geico, uh, Les Sawyer, there's a couple other companies out there. But if you do the bundle package, you typically save. And most policies, these are the things that's covered under a basic homeowner's insurance policy. Fire is covered. Um, lightning, if your house is struck by lightning, it's covered. Um, for some apparent reason, there is an explosion um, that's covered. Um, if it's a riot and it kind of comes into your house somehow, uh, it's covered, believe it or not. Aircraft, if an aircraft crash into your house, God willing, that doesn't happen. Or something falls from an aircraft, that's typically covered. Um, vehicles, vehicles um, running into your home, typically covered. Um, smoke, uh, if you know, you don't have a fire, but you do get a lot of smoke damage, that's covered. Vandalism, that's typically covered. Theft, uh, that's typically covered. And believe it or not, this is one we don't deal with here in California, um, but in some other areas, I guess they uh, say volcanic uh, eruptions are covered. Now, here are some of the things, and it all depends on where you live, uh, what kind of area you're in, um, that are typically not covered. But in some cases, you can buy this coverage. Um, flood insurance. Uh, if you're living in an area where you're getting a lot of floods, be really tough to get flood insurance. But if you have an older policy, you may be covered under that. Earthquakes. We're in California, guys. I live on a fault line. Um, earthquake insurance. You might be able to get it. But I'll tell you, it's going to be really expensive to get earthquake uh, insurance. Um Believe it or not, uh, wars, uh, if we have a war, I mean, heck, we didn't think we'd be in a pandemic, but I mean, I guess it's something that you could possibly look into. Uh, nuclear accidents, uh, I guess back in the day, if you lived in Livermore, that was something that probably came up uh, from time to time. Uh, mudslides, uh, uh, that's something that, you know, we deal with if you're living up on a hill and as dry as our vegetation has been, um, we are going to have some mudslides. Uh, those items typically aren't covered. Sinkholes, um, hurricanes, uh, pollution. And here's one that really uh, a lot of homeowners think they're covering. Sometimes they aren't. A uh, sewer line backups. Uh, so typically for those items, uh, you can uh, pay a little bit extra. Out of all those items that I just described that you might be able to pay a little bit extra, 
uh, a nuclear accident, uh, unfortunately, uh, that is not one that you can pay extra for. Uh, well, if we have one of those, I think uh, we can call it a day. But so we go in the weekend right there. Uh, again, I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend uh, this weekend. Enjoy your Memorial Day holiday. Again, if you're looking to sell, feel free to give me a call. If you're looking to buy, feel free to give me a call um, to get pre-qualified. Again, I always thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, it's been truly blessing all my clients out there. I thank you for your business, uh, time in and time out. Uh, I truly, truly appreciate everything. So everybody have a great weekend and thank you once again. Enjoy your weekend.